Hello and welcome. I am Dr. Pauline Fu. In this video, I will calculate um, nominal annual rate for annuity. I will use two different methods to calculate this interest rate. Uh, one is used financial calculator. The other is to use Excel. So I will give you a problem. Okay. Just adjust my my window. Right. So suppose I put one hundred fifty dollar. Okay. $150 into a saving account each month. I'm going to save total in 60 months. Uh, if the accumulated value at the deposit is 10,000, oops. Ten thousand is the accumulated value, okay? Uh, compounded semi-annually. The question is, uh, what was the normal annual rate of interest? Nominal. Oops. This is uh, 10,000. What is the nominal annual rate of interest? So I repeat the question. You put $150 each month for 60 months into a saving account, okay? And um, the accumulated value after 60 months is $10,000, okay, $10,000. The question was, what was the nominal annual rate of interest? So step uh, method one, um, I will use a calculator, okay? Uh, use Excel, since the Excel is right in front of you. So I'm going to uh, use Excel rate function, okay? R-A-T-E rate, NPR, number of payment is 60, PMT, negative 150, oops, negative 150, uh, PV is zero. A future value 10,000. Okay. Type is a zero. Okay. And uh, you get this rate looks like zero, but when you adjust decimal place, um, form and sales, uh, number increase decimal places, maybe four. Okay. Six doesn't matter. So this is the the rate get from Excel. This rate actually it is a P, the equivalent rate per payment period. Okay, the equivalent rate per payment period. This is actually P. Equi oops, equivalent rate per payment period. Once you get P, you need to figure out what is I. I represent periodic interest rate, okay? And to figure out I, you need to figure out C. Okay, C represents number of compounding period per year divided by number of payment per year. In this example, uh, it is a, uh, this 10,000, compounded semi-annually, semi-annually. So two uh, divided by one year, you make 12 payments. That is number C, okay? And once you have number C, and this number is P, equivalent rate per payment period. Now you need to calculate I, periodic rate. 
periodic rate equal to one plus, oops, bracket one plus I one plus P. This is P raised to power one over C raised to power one over C. And then minus one, oops. Um, one raised to power one minus, and then minus one. Okay. So you get this is the periodic rate I, but the question asks you nominal annual rate. So nominal annual rate, because the interest was compounded semi-annually, it is just I multiplied by two, and you get this number. Okay, uh, translate to percentage is 4.255%. So that is a, a method one using Excel rate function. From rate function, you get that rate is P, equivalent rate for payment period. Once you get P, calculate I, periodic rate, okay, the relationship between P and I is here. Okay, and then finally, you convert to nominal annual rate. So next, let's do the uh, method two, financial uh, calculator. So this is my financial calculator. Uh, make sure um, in this question, you need to make sure the calculator is at the end mod. If you see nothing on top right corner here, that is end mod. So to begin, you clean up everything. So second page. Okay, now I have two decimal places. If you want to increase to four decimal places to increase the accuracy, you do this. Second, four match. So you have DEC, right now it is two. You enter four, okay? And then press enter. See, you have four decimal places, okay? And then second quit, see? This is a four decimal places. This is one setup. Uh, the other setup, you need to set up PY equal to 12. PY represent number of payments per year. And you also need to set up CY equal to 2. CY represent number of compounding period per year. All right, so let's do the setup for PY. You go to second, and then PY. Okay, so you need 12, 12, okay, enter. Okay, so PY equal to 12. Uh, next, you use this down arrow key here, just on the left-hand side of on-off button. Quick arrow key, down arrow key, you have CY. CY equal to two, you enter two, okay, enter. And then second, quit. Now you set up. Just on safe side, you double check PY equal to 12, CY equal to two. So second PY, it is 12, down arrow key, CY, it is two. So the setting is correct. So you go second, quit. And now you can enter the numbers, okay? So starting with 150, that is PMT. When you enter calculator, this number is negative. So 150, negative number, this is PMT. And 60 is the N, okay, 60 is the N. Okay. Um, present value is zero, just as a precaution to clear any previous entries. So zero PV. Finally, um, the future value is 10,000. So 10,000, this is a future value. And then last step, CPT, compute. IY means nominal annual rate, this IY. See, you get 4.255%, okay? Uh, in summary, this video calculate nominal annual rate for annuity using two different methods. One using Excel, the other is using um, Texas Instruments BA2 Plus calculator. That's all for this video. Thanks for watching.